Um, excuse me, can we get two more, please? Well, you are a lot of fun for a stuffed shirt DA. And may I say, your shirt is stuffed very well. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, industry, it just, it just sounds so glamorous. Well, it was when I worked for a classy establishment. Mm. But then I started working for this chain, and ever since I got canned from the big leagues. Oh, wow, you got fired? I was the best. Oh. The best. Yeah. And I got stupid. I, I, I just can't imagine that. It all went to hell. Oh, here. You know, sometimes it just, it really helps to just get it all out. Part of me was hoping that you would talk me out of breaking up. I, are you kidding me? I, I don't have that right. Not after everything that I did. I mean, you, you, you are an, an unbelievable woman. But Greenlee is right in that room. Just, just go. Why are you still here? I'm not going to leave you like this. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know how this trial is going to play out, Madison, for me, for Greenlee. I don't... She'll have you. No matter what. She's lucky. Are you kidding me? I am so lucky. I am so lucky to have gotten to know you the way I am. Stop. I'm no. serious. Madison, I am so serious. You, you, are, you are so beautiful and smart and you're funny. And, and, and the cooking. And that smile. Well, you helped me find it again. You know. I was kind of a wreck. You were there. I'll be there again in a heartbeat, whenever you need me. Like you were always there for Greenlee. But not, because she's the one you love. I should have been honest with myself. <laughs> with a lot of people. Sorry, am I supposed to be polite and civilized about all this? Because I just, I, I, I can't, I just no, I don't can't. want you to be polite and civilized about this. I don't want that. I want you, I want you to be honest with the way you feel, I guess. This is part of me just... I just want this all to be okay, that's all. Just worry about you. You might be about to take the fall. Forget about me, okay? I'll take care of me. Whatever happens, I will take care of it. Just, is, is there anything that I can do for you? Is stop, there anything stop, you don't. Just, I have to go. Do you get how awful this is? Watching Ryan say those things, talk about loving me when it's all an act? I, why? I, it's not an act. In, really. case, in case you haven't noticed, my relationships don't just end. They crash and burn. Ryan and I have burst into flames more than once. Leo's gone, David's gone, and now I have to relive it all over. Greenlee, you don't have to I'm acquitted. It. And Ryan is convicted for David's murder? I'll never be able to live with that. Nick, you know you did the right thing telling me all that. Listen, I don't have any time to explain. I gotta get to the courthouse, but get coffee in him right away and sober him up. Got it. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you're gonna help me with the case. Oh, no, I'm not. You, you can't make me do that. No, you're right, I can't. But if you don't, I'm gonna hunt you down and I'm gonna throw you in jail for perjury. It's really your choice. You do that? <laughs> Try me. Coffee, a lot of it. I want to trick or treat with Daddy. We always go together. Uh, hey, handsome. Looks like you're all ready for your big night, huh? Something I said? I'll be right back. No, 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 no. Give, give him some time. Give him some time. AJ wants to go trick or treating with his daddy. Really? Oh, that's interesting. You know, I just came from the mansion and JR's got the same look on his face AJ does. If you're going to tell me that I'm wrong to keep AJ from JR, I... All I'm telling you is that JR desperately misses his son. That house is not suitable I for know. a... It's a disaster, okay? It's a train wreck waiting to happen. I understand you're preaching to the choir. But if it means anything to you, Annie's gone. She's moved out. So from now on, it's just JR and Colby. That is an improvement. And, and AJ does love his aunt. Are you guys working together to get me to drop the custody case? Honey, I am on your side. Listen, if you want to pursue custody, it's your choice. It's your privilege. 
But darling, do you really have to work so hard to keep them apart, to keep him from his father, to deny them any chance of spending time together? The judge supported this. But what about AJ? What about what he wants? He's hurt and he's homesick. Would it really be so terrible to let him spend a couple of hours with his father? They've been trick-or-treating together ever since he had to be helped, carried from door to door to do it. They do it every year. It's her dish. Yeah, but if I hand AJ over to you, I might never hand you back. Well, then why not go with him? Huh? There's an idea. What do you say, pal? What do you about y'all go over and show your father your outfit, huh? The Val Coyote. Please, mommy, please. Be staring at that all night. Oh, thank you for coming. Oh, it sounded serious. What's that? What happened? Brian. Did something happen at Greenlee's trial? We're done. What? I I called it off. I guess he kind of started it. I thought he just gave you a key to his place. Keys don't mean anything when he's in love with someone else. Greenlee. He actually said that? Yeah, under oath, in front of a courtroom full of people. Oh, that son of a... I'm... I'm sorry. No, you tried to warn me. So did Kendall. Even Annie. I just... I didn't want to hear it. I was so sure that it was real. The way that Ryan looked at me. The things he said. I thought I had finally found a man to love who would love me back. How could I be so stupid? What a lovely day. Well, that can't be good. All rise. The Honorable Judge Miriam Cressman presiding. Be seated. Colby, are you ready for your cross-examination? I am, Your Honor. I have plenty of questions for Mr. Lavery. Mr. Lavery, please take the stand. And I'll remind you that you're still under oath. Mr. Lavery, do you know Tony the Traveler? Mr. Lavery. Um, yeah, I... He's a very well-known travel blogger. But you are not this blogger, correct? No. And yet, you borrowed his name. Um, yes, I, I did. It was a very long time ago. Greenlee and I were on the road. Can you please share with us the circumstances surrounding this identity borrowing? Uh, sure. I was just trying to show Greenlee what I did for a living, like a lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. And what was that? I was a con. I was a, I was a con man. What are you doing here? Uh, I should have called. Yeah, you should have. But you're here now, so why are you here? Just was checking on you and Emma. Uh, Do you need anything? We're fine. Is Emma here? Uh. She, uh, she forgot this in the house. Well, she's at a friend's. I, I'll be sure to give it to her. I can't believe you went swimming. It's gonna be like ice cold. I like cold water. You're freezing. No, I'm not. I'm fine. It felt good, really. I just needed to clear my head. Are you okay? Okay, you're right. I'm freezing. I don't know what I was thinking. I had all these memories come crashing back, and I thought zero degrees might snap me out of it. You have hopes of saving your marriage? No, I'm just cold. Thanks for bringing over the doll. You can go now. Maybe I should go for a swim. What terrible thing are you trying to forget? Halloween. Why? Scared of vampires? No, AJ and I, it's our favorite holiday. We like dressing up and trick-or-treating. 
<laughs> Actually, we're pros at tricks. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Marissa still won't let me see him. And what if I lose custody of my son? What if I lose him for good? I, I just can't deal with that. You won't. You won't lose him. And if I do? I really hope that doesn't happen. Because telling your child's life as you know it is over and the family you wanted to be, it's not going to happen. It literally rips your heart out. Hey, Alberta, how are you? Happy to see you, Mrs. Chandler. And the little one. Mm -hmm. Is Jer here? He went to the beach cottage. Can we go, Mommy? Can we go see Daddy? Marissa has gone to war for AJ. It's like, no matter what I say or the promises I make, I just make things worse. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I shouldn't be here. Stay. Talk to me. Maybe we could help each other. 